foodies and TV lovers unite. Chefs, please open your baskets. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Food Network shows of all time. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at our favorite shows to ever appear on the Food Network. My style of food is simple yet scrumptious, and all my recipes have to be approved by cowboys, hungry kids, and me. Number 10, Beat Bobby Flay. Each week, one brave chef will try to take me down in my house. Iron Chef Bobby Flay is a Food Network mainstay, and as of 2013, chefs from around the country have gotten the chance to compete against him and show their stuff. In the first round, two aspiring chefs must cook off for the chance to battle Bobby, and their dishes are judged by two celebrity guests. In the second round, the visiting chefs name their signature dish, and Bobby has to try to outdo them. This time around, the winner is picked by culinary expert judges using a blind taste test. The ingredients you chose accent the crab flavor beautifully. Tomato, toasted nut. The one big problem that I have with this dish is that it's raw. As of midway through season 15, Bobby has 112 wins compared to 61 losses. Win or lose, he always delivers an entertaining episode. 45 minutes and your time starts now. Go! Number nine, The Pioneer Woman. I'm Ree Drummond. I'm a writer, blogger, photographer, mother, and I'm an accidental country girl. Now based in Pawhuska, Oklahoma, Ree Drummond is a big city girl who fell in love with a cowboy and moved out to live life on a ranch. Her show is filmed in her own kitchen and usually involves her cooking down-home meals for her family, friends, and ranch hands. Her specialties are comfort foods and Tex-Mex dishes, and she's definitely not afraid of a little cheese and butter. Everybody knows that the very best part of a muffin is, of course, the muffin top. Even if you are on a strict diet, watching her cook carb and fat-laden meals is totally mesmerizing. And if you're not watching your figure, well, prepare to get seriously inspired. So just like the other cookies so far, the next stage is to chill them, then bake them. Number eight, Cutthroat Kitchen. It's a game we like to call <laughs> Cutthroat Kitchen. Many of the shows on the Food Network focus on fine cuisine, but this is not one of them. In Cutthroat Kitchen, contestants have to make their assigned dishes while sabotaging each other with extra challenges designed to make the process more difficult. Players have to bid on sabotages, and all the money they spend is taken out of their winnings. Whether it's something straightforward like having to wear a potato masher strapped to your hand while cooking, or something completely insane like cooking a meal in a ball pit, this show never stops being entertaining. It's a competition first and a cooking show second, and that's what makes it stand out. Make them harvest all of their ingredients from this block of ice, and the only way to get them out is with these. Number seven, Food Network star. Each of you will be starring in a fully produced pilot presentation of your very own show. The format of this competition show has been altered significantly since its inception in 2005, but through every iteration, it's been a blast to watch. The series has alternated between having home viewers as the ones who voted on which contestants should stay in the game, but they've since put more importance on the judges' opinions. Different flavors develop as you eat it, and it kind of lingers, and it actually makes you want more. Originally known as the next Food Network star, the title has been shortened to simply Food Network star. Though not every winner has gone on to become a true star, Guy Fieri actually won the show's second season, and kick-started his hugely successful career. Guys! <laughs> Number six, Barefoot Contessa. Oh, I love the way this smells. You can really smell the lemon so much in the zest. Ina Garten is one of the Food Network's most beloved celebrity chefs and has carved herself out a niche of fans who can't get enough of her high-end yet laid-back style. On Barefoot Contessa, everything looks easy. Whether it's harvesting herbs from the garden of your East Hamptons home or throwing a casual dinner party for your friends and family without ever breaking a sweat. Honestly, this show may be more aspirational than anything else. All the vegetables are in the bottom, the roast loin of pork on the top, they cook together. It's not bad. While Garten has released several successful cookbooks, we watch her series more for the soothing quality of the show rather than actual cooking tips. And they're going to be crisp on the outside and delicious on the inside. 
Number five, 30 minute meals. Sometimes when I get into the kitchen, I'm a little like Dr. Frankenstein. Rachel Ray is one of the world's most well-known celebrity chefs, and she made a name for herself with this TV show that ran for just over a decade from 2001 to 2012. What makes 30 minute meals different is that Rachel Ray has no formal training as a chef. She's just an enthusiastic home cook who shares her tips and tricks for creating easy yet delicious meals for your family in almost no time at all. We're gonna grind these up and spice them up and put them all over the outside of pork tenderloin. Delicious. The show has been criticized for occasionally teaching viewers improper techniques, but the imperfections are what it's all about. Man, oh man, oh man. Number four. Diners, drive-ins, and dives. Hi, everybody. I'm Guy Fieri, and we're rolling out. Headed for some of America's greatest diners, drive-ins, and dives. Guy Fieri may be a divisive figure, but no matter how you feel about him, you can't deny that this show has an appealing, fail-safe formula. I'm not kidding you. I'm going to take one more bite. I don't want to do this, but I'm doing this for you. Fieri and his crew drive around the United States and pick out the greasiest, most creative, and awesome dishes from around the country taking you behind the scenes to see how they're made. Smells like Mexican food. If you're a fan of the show and you have a road trip in your future, people have made maps that pinpoint all the diners, drive-ins, and dives that Fieri has visited over the years. So, whether you're doing research or just in the mood for some food porn, Guy has got you covered. You know what I need? I need you riding shotgun. I'm on my way to Flavortown. This is diners, drive-ins, and dive. Number three. Iron Chef America. The time has come for our gastronomical battle royale. Based on the original Japanese show Iron Chef, Iron Chef America is actually the second attempt to rework the popular concept for US viewers. Unlike its predecessor Iron Chef USA, however, which was not well received, this iteration was a success for many years. Dessert wow! In Kitchen Stadium, competitors come to throw down with designated Iron Chefs who are typically Food Network stars. They're given either an ingredient or theme to work with while trying to unseat the resident chef. The skill level on this program is high, and so is the showmanship. We love it because it's so over the top and makes us want to get into some serious kitchen experimentation. Thank you guys very much. Enjoy. Thank Wonderful. You. One down, four to go, chef. Number two, Good Eats. So hitch up your appetite. This is Good Eats. One of the most revolutionary and essential Food Network shows was also one of the longest running. Beloved host Alton Brown debuted Good Eats in 1999 when he was dissatisfied with the cooking shows available on TV. In every episode, he would tackle a particular food or concept and go in-depth about the history of it and how to best prepare it. For any budding chef, this is probably one of the most informative things you can watch, even many years later. Everything here qualifies as a T-bone except maybe uh, this guy and this guy. Good news for fans of the show. Brown announced in 2017 that he would be reviving the concept under the title Return of the Eats. <sighs> it's time. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Welcome to Food Network Challenge, Food Magicians. Today, we've got four of the top stylists in the business here to battle it out for $10,000. Five, plate. I four, need the plate. three, no, two, one, time is up. Number one, Chopped. Four chefs think they have what it takes to be the Chopped champion. Let's meet them. The concept of this competition show is a simple one, and that is what makes it so addictive. On Chopped, there are four contestants and three rounds. In each round, the chefs are given a basket of ingredients that they have to use prominently in their dish, being as creative as possible. 30 minutes on the clock this time, starting now. The judges are a rotating cast of Food Network stars, and the formula is one that works because viewers have come to know exactly what to expect. True fans know that you definitely don't have time to make risotto in the appetizer round, and that if you want to use the ice cream machine, you better get there quickly. It never gets old. When we call you back in, someone will find out that they are the grand champion. Thank you, chefs. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.